<laughs> this is already wrong. I'm panicking. Like that, I hope. Right? Like that? Don't judge me. Well, today we are putting 10 years of makeup artistry experience to the test. Finally transforming into my Halloween costume, Trixie Mattel. Now, if you think Trixie Mattel's makeup is easy, baby, think again. So let me make one thing clear. I will not be teaching you how to do Trixie Mattel makeup because let's leave that to Trixie. This video is more to just entertain and laugh at me. That being said, I'm gonna go cover my brows off camera because it's probably gonna involve a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And I'll be right back so we can start the Trixie Mattel transformation. Well, <sighs> Brows are covered. Not the best thing, not the worst thing. Did better than I thought. All right, so Trixie always starts by sketching out the shape of her eyeliner, so I'm gonna use eyeshadow to start because um, it's a little less permanent. Oh, already messed up. So I actually sketched out that bottom line first because I know with Trixie's makeup, everything is very geometric. Like this is the same angle as this, is the same angle as the brows. This is actually gonna give me a better idea of how that liner should be. <laughs> this is already wrong. I'm panicking. Okay, we can fix this. Remain calm. This is why we sketched it in shadow. This is the most important part of the makeup. Like, I feel like if the eyeliner is good, the rest I'm not too worried about, but this, this we have to get. Okay, this I can live with. It's much more rounded than I thought. It really has more of an arch than it is really a straight line. It has a nice curve to it. Now I have to do it on the other side. I'm kind of happy with it. I think we can do it, but the way I forgot to do foundation first. So she doesn't do foundation all over the face, but at least around the eyes. And I forgot. Now I need to be super careful around that eyeliner that just took five years off my life. I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I love this foundation. Trixie loves it and uses it all the time. So I figure this is a good choice. Now that I have foundation on, I'm gonna go in with this Ace Beauty palette. This is the color neon. It's this beautiful hot pink. Okay, and just like her, we're gonna stamp right above that liner. A little more light-handed out here. Yeah, like that. Gonna take a fluffier brush. Nope, that has shimmer on it. Literally all of my brushes are dirty. I've been doing so many Halloween looks, so don't judge me. All right, the pink is blended out. This whole process is a lot of staring at the mirror dead on and making sure everything is symmetrical. But I'm gonna take this darker kind of plum purple in fanny pack and I'm using that to deepen up right up against the eyeliner, which is making me realize if we're gonna fit the white line, the pink is gonna have to be higher. So I probably should have started with the purple. All right, I think I got the shadow in a place I like it. Now I'm gonna sketch out the bottom. So I'm gonna use a flat brush and we're gonna start with shadow just like the top because we can't be messing around. So while I'm doing this, I also gotta say the reason I wanted to do this so much, especially as my last transformation for the season is because I mean, I just love Trixie so damn much. When the pandemic happened and like the world fell apart and I lost all my work and she and Katya literally like got me through that era when I had nothing to do and just was depressed. Now that I'm doing what I'm doing on YouTube, I can't even tell you so much of it has turned into just the biggest respect for her work ethic. I mean, she literally has 90 jobs. My career ambitions and aspirations are so big. I hold myself to a really high standard. When I'm exhausted, and I'm not kidding you guys, I think I've been working like 18 hour days for the past three weeks, seven days a week. My poor fiance barely sees me anymore just because I wanna get you this kind of content and I wanna build things up and I wanna take you to the next level. And when I'm exhausted, I always say to myself, I joke around with my fiance, I'm like, if Trixie can do it, I can do it. And I relate a lot to it. I think when you come from a poor upbringing, when you do get opportunities, you just can't believe it. And that's the thing with me on here. I've told you guys this so many times, but you know, I'm 30 years old. I'm not like 22 putting makeup on for fun. This has been my career. I've been a professional makeup artist for a decade. And I can't believe that I get to share everything that I love about makeup and beauty and acting and comedy with you guys. It's just insane. Okay, this one's great. This one needs work. All right, now we're gonna take those pinks again and and I'm gonna stamp it out here. So Trixie's been doing a couple different eyes recently. I didn't do the one where the white extends out that way because I wanna get out of this alive. So I went with this one where it connects to the outer corner here. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think she really put shadow here. It kinda of stops right about here. Kinda of almost rounded like that. I gotta say the most surprising thing about doing her makeup, when you look at her, everything looks so straight and angular, which trust me, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of round softness to everything. Maybe that's why it just ends up looking so aesthetically pleasing. I don't have a single damn clean blending brush. Now it's time for brows, more lines, more sketching. So it seems like the brow connects here. Oh God, like that, I hope. Okay, 
Now to duplicate it. Now I'm using the Milani Weekend Brow to make hair light strokes. I can live with these brows for the moment. Now we're gonna do the white, which I'm dreading. The only thing I could get my hands on was the KVD liner and no white liner is white enough. So I'm probably gonna have to do two passes with this. We need Trixie Cosmetics to come out with a white eyeliner. Oh, the eyeliner is terrible. It literally is just turning pink. It's doing exactly what I thought. I can't, it's not even adhering to the Elmer's glue. I don't know what's going on. I didn't want to have to use this, but this is the City Color Aquatic FX. You gotta kind of like water activated. I don't really love it because it cracks a little bit when it's on the eye, but at this rate, I will be here forever. Oh, Jesus. All right. That is much better. It's actually white. Okay, so looking at yourself straight ahead, that line needs to be straight. It's a little deceiving when you turn because it comes to a point, but when you're looking straight ahead, you want that white line to be straight. I'm dipping back into the KVD liner for this because if anything, will look a little creamier than that aquatic water liner. <gasps> this liner is so terrible. Zero out of 10 recommend. It literally is mixing with my foundation under the eye. Now, how is this supposed to swoop? How to go back into the city color one. That KVD liner is trash. This is how I knew the white was gonna go because white products suck. That was agonizing. Thank God for Max Shivering White Man. Oh my God, I had to press it over, fix everything. Let's do the black. I'm gonna go in with the Inklot gel liner. I'm excited for this. This is when it comes together. Okay, why does the black bring it together? I can finally see the end result. All right, now with my Morphe Filter Effect Concealer, we're gonna start carving things out. Oh, this makes all the difference for shaping the face. Wow, what a difference that makes. I'm taking a little bit of my white Indie Beat Cosmetics foundation and just doing a little under the brow to really highlight it and a little bit of this white directly in the center of my forehead. All right, now it's time for the white worm and the chocolate pudding. All right, now we're gonna foundation the rest of the face. Come on, girl. All right, now we're taking Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade 148 and we're gonna use this to contour the nose. So we did the concealer straight down and then we're taking this and tracing the edges. All right, let's take our Maybelline around the hairline. This really is such an amazing concealer. This really has been my go-to for years on clients with mature skin. It just looks stunning. I never used this for a contour before. I actually picked this up for this video and wow. All right, let's carve out this cheekbone. Seems like it's right above the earlobe. Right? Now, does she do this all the way around the chin? Screw it. Let's do it. Okay. Like that. The brown strap. All right. I'm getting excited. This is coming together. All right. Now we're taking more of the Morphe concealer and I'm going to use this to sharpen up underneath. All right. Let's highlight the chin. Seems like it almost connects a little like that. All right. Now we're going to highlight the under eyes. It's so true. I remember, I don't know when this was. Feels like years ago now when Raven complimented Trixie's makeup. Everyone was copying Raven's makeup and Trixie's makeup was so unique. Doing this for myself, it is insane how well blended every single aspect of this is. From an artistry standpoint, this is insane. I definitely feel like I need more brightness. Let's use my kimchi chic. Talk about another thing that's bomb. This kimchi chic concealer must try. I'm gonna go in with MAC Shivering White the Studio Fix Powder to really brighten this like highlight. My god, I think we're ready to set the face. I'm gonna take the Beauty Bakery Powder in white on a big fluffy brush. Let's go ahead and set this. All right, I'm gonna take my Trixie Cosmetics Flower Power Bronzer. This is truly one of my all-time favorite bronzers. It is the most beautiful neutral tone. It's absolutely perfect. And we're gonna deepen up and reinforce where we contoured with the Maybelline. And it honestly just blends like butter. There is nothing patchy about this at all. I have it in the lightest shade and it comes in two colors, which I'm obsessed with. The lighter shade of the two is perfect for my normal nose contour. All right, now to really add more dimension, this is a contour shade from Inklot. You see how like cool and gray this is? We're really gonna deepen up the darkest recesses of our face to add in a lot of dimension. This is why her makeup looks so amazing because it goes from that super dark to the medium, to the foundation color, to the concealer color, to the white highlight. It's just, it's insane how blended and multi-dimensional it is. All right, we're gonna take our card and really keep this deep, deep, deep in the pocket. Oh, look at the dimension there compared to that. Mm. Side note, I don't want anyone to read me. Yes, I cut my hair in the bathroom. I cut it like this. I'm gonna fade it tomorrow. The reason I did this is because the wig is gonna stick out if I don't cut it back. So all I did was really just cut it down to skin and then tomorrow I'm gonna fade it. But I do not wanna hear it. These are the things I do for y'all. All right, now we're gonna take Max Shivering White and this is really where we're gonna bring those highlights back in. Oh, yes, hello. 
difference. Woo! Compared to that. Now for everybody's favorite part. Blush. We're going in with the Trixie Cosmetics Summer of Love collection. And I'm gonna mix Girl on Girl and Side Chick. Side note, if you need a new blush palette, get this. Side Chick you might think is like super dark and intimidating, but it works so well. Let me show you. So we're gonna keep this back a little further. Almost married in with the first bronzer color. Yeah, back here. Because we don't want to lose that highlight up there. When I first started doing makeup, I was so against blush. Everything about my makeup would just be monochromatic. Like brown, brown, brown specifically the past two years maybe i have just been obsessed with blush i need to stop myself sometimes from putting too much on look at that and see what i mean about the side chick shade it's really not as dark as you think because it's so buildable so if you tap off your brush or do a little swipe on the back of your arm it really will just be so subtle and give this gorgeous cool tone raspberry-ish hue to everything then if you do want to build it up if you have darker skin it's perfect for darker skin now i'm going to take the highlighter shade after school special and we are going to highlight the high points of the face oh my god this entire palette is so perfect for this makeup look this one has a pink beautiful reflect guys are we almost done all right it's time for lips i'm using the nyx lip liner in the shade fuchsia is that big enough i don't know okay made the top a little bigger i think i like that better that looks more accurate now i'm just taking a color from my lip palette that I kind of cocktailed to work with this. And of course, we're gonna finish with our Trixie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Lollipop Luxe. This color is stunning. Oh, that is everything. All right, guys, time for lashes. Where do I put these? Do I just shove this in my crease? I think he just looks down and then literally shoves it in the crease like that. I think so. Here I am applying more blush. I always feel like when you wear a pink lip too, you just gotta punch up the blush. Like you gotta tie everything in. All right, guys, that is it. Lashes are on. Blush is punched up. Lip, stunning. I'm gonna go pop on the wig, the nails, the drag, and we will be right back for the I'm final wig. <laughs> I mean, there is a reason she's iconic. I would try to do a Swedish accent or Swedish share, but I don't want to get demonetized. Once again, this was so fun, like probably the most fun I've ever had doing makeup in my life. And if you guys are curious, I'm gonna link the video in the description that I use to help me cover my brows, as well as a big thank you to the icon that is James Mansfield, who helped me make this wig. She doesn't know it because it was all through YouTube. That is why you need to subscribe to her YouTube channel. And lastly and most importantly, thank you to Trixie Mattel for continuing to make us laugh, making music, making bomb cosmetics. And uh, if you ever want to make a video together, I'm here. As always, guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're doing fun stuff left and right. I post every single day. You don't want to miss it. Hit the little notification bell next to the subscription button, and you'll be notified every single time I post. Wherever you guys are, I love you. I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.